Hello and welcome. Welcome to the TV room. Here is a quick little program, which isn't as little as it might have been, uh, that I wrote to test and torment this 4040 disk drive. And it's funny, just as I was getting set up to show you the program and run the program, indeed, Drive Zero was um, complaining a bit and having some read errors, which is interesting. Not pleasing, but interesting. One thing I will do here, I'm switching the disks, and then I'm going to type in run, and I'm going to tickle the drives. That means close the, the door as the disk is spinning to make sure it gets properly set. Then I will run it, and it will indeed show the catalog now. Is this going to continue to work? Well, we'll see about that. So I have right now the, the disk in drive zero is the big switch disk. And the one, the 1571 test demo is in the uh, drive one. And they do seem to be doing okay. So what it's, it's doing is, uh, said before, it's initializing both drives, cataloging both drives, and initializing drive zero, cataloging drive zero, initializing drive one, cataloging drive one. And then, and in between, it's going to our subroutine, which is go sub 100, and that just prints the disk status. It does. And away it goes, over and over and over. And this is, the idea is to torment and torture, but hopefully not kill. And if you were watching the other episodes, you'll know that the reason that this drive did not work is because there was a broken, 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 broken belt. As in, it was snapped. And even though the motor was spinning, it is very hard to have a disk drive spin when there is no belt that is attaching it to the drive spindle and the drive, sorry, the, the drive motor spindle and the drive spindle. They really must be together as one somehow, some way. So why was the drive messing up? I don't know. I have not cleaned the heads yet. I have not put any um, deoxit on any of the connectors or things or stuff. It does seem to be quite fine. I suspect what I will do is there is some smuts on the front. Looks like glue from some kind of sticker thing. So I'll deal with that, probably with Gooby gone, as well as eventually maybe a bit of a magic eraser. It seems to be, well, sort of at the bottom, on the, uh, like right between where the drives are, there's a little bit other stuff to deal with, but it's not terrible. But anyway, this does seem to be working, and tor being the torment continues. If I were to press a topic list... And we could change this a little bit, if I was so inclined. Now remember, I can't use the side arrow thing, so I have to space over, and then shift the up arrow to go in here. And I could, if I was so inclined, add a little something here. And I think I'm not going to... Yeah, maybe I'll clear the screen in between each time. And then I'll go there. No, I can't. I can't put things back, but will it have taken away the spaces? No. Does it matter? No, it really doesn't. It does not. But I will take them out, put another colon, and then what else can we do here? We can do all kinds of things. The nice thing about routines and subroutines. You know what I think I will do? I'll put in line one. X equals X plus one. And as far as, you know, I remember back in the days, oh, well, you have to declare, you have to make sure that your variables are properly declared, even though that when you run the program, it already just assumes that everything's zero. You have to tell it, so I did there, x equals zero, then x equals x plus one. Oh, no, 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 that is not the place we want to be. 
Okay, well, the zero is fine. The x plus equals x plus one really should be in 11. And then I come down here and I put in one and enter, and that means line one will be gone. So there's a bit of a bounce to this keyboard. So now x equals x plus one. So now, oh yeah, do that. Go over here, and we'll go up here, and okay, you know what? I screwed up. I should have gone up there. But anyway, it's okay. I can do this. I can back this up. I can put in some extra spaces. Put in a quote. Put semicolon x colon and then space and back up and there we have altered this so now it should do its thing and we'll also see at the very top of the screen how many times it's gone through the whole program. And even though it's clearing and it's doing, you know, different things, it's different parts of it, it's now going through the whole program for the third time. And it does seem to be happy. It does. And now it's on the fourth time. So counters are not a bad thing. Another thing we can do if I was so inclined, and I guess I am, is I'll put in line one, ti dollar sign equals, quote, zero, 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 quote. And then we'll go back to our subroutine, which I can't really get to, so I'll go over with the space bar. And then I'll go up, and then, I'll put in a little space here. I'll put semicolon. Probably oh, put in too much space there. Ti string colon, and then I'll space over. Oh, we have an extra colon, and we'll hit a return. We will clear the train, and we will run. What have I done? Oh, did I? Oh, I can't get. There. Right. Okay. Left one. Wait, 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 wait. Ti string needs to be six characters. Run. So now, in between each time, it'll tell us not only. How many times has it gone through the whole thing but how many seconds has this been running for because if you are doing a torture test you may indeed want to have a timer so that if something does screw up and it's still available on the screen for you can see you can see that after you know seven hours and 22 minutes and five seconds that that's when it died all kinds of things and of course um Actually, I, I suppose TI string is one that maybe if I didn't set it to zero, that it might just stay on how long the machine had been on. I think. I think it gets reset when the machine comes on. So we're going through the eighth time, and we've been doing it for 56 seconds. And now we've been going at it for a minute. And it's just carrying on. It is, it is, it is. So this is good. It's working fine. So there's a little bit of programming and there's a little bit of torturing of this 4040 disk drive. So thanks for coming to the TV room. I will leave this to be tortured and tormented. Do have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Bye for now.